ladies and gentlemen welcome to the jv week one match of the week stream for the winter 2023 rocket league season featuring la Follette a versus port washington a two teams in division one la Follette with the same lineup they had last year in spring 2022 while port washington a has new pieces to their puzzle this season i am your fellow with city commentator andrew Trish jr pleased to be joining you to commentate this match today as I said before, it is La Follette A taking on Port Washington A in today's match of the week. So let's go ahead and get some notes out right now. So JV Week 1, obviously La Follette A, Port Washington A, said that like three times already. Uh, nonetheless, though, uh, La Follette A in Division 1 in the Esper Conference. Their players consist of Steven Donstray, who is their captain, Giovanni Gio. And Tony, Tony the Killer, 55. Some notes for them as they finished the spring 2022 season. 7-1 and one overall, 22-4 and four game record. And their roster moves for winter 2023 20, is that they lost Jesus, they retained Gio, they retained Tony, they retained Steven, and they added Jonathan as a sub. Moving on to Port Washington A. They are in Division One as well. And in the same conference as well, the Esper Conference, players consist of Christian, CR27 racer, who is their captain. They have Josh, did not find a gamer tag on the spreadsheet, so just put his real name on there. Uh, Trinity, Crystal Fenix, is Port Washington's last player up. And notes for them, spring 2022-wise, they finished 4-3 and three overall and a 14-11 and 11 game record. Winter 2023 roster moves for them is that they lost Lucas, lost Logan, retained Christian, added Trinity, and added Josh. So Christian is the only remaining piece from Fort Washington A's team last year. So they could either improve this season or they could, you know, not do so good and regress. But that remains to be seen as we'll get our first look at both of these teams here. La Follette, obviously heavy favorites here as they have their exact same lineup. They just switched up the captain. Uh, for their team, while Port Washington again has new pieces to their puzzle and is going to be experimenting in this week one matchup. But it should be a fun one. We're going to get started here in about eight minutes. Going to pop up the overlay for Rocket League here. So if you were not able to catch last Tuesday's stream, it was Fort Atkinson taking on Wisconsin Lutheran in a Division Two matchup featuring two teams who had playoff history. From spring 2022, as Fort Atkinson beat Wisconsin Lutheran in the quarterfinals of the Division II playoffs in order to reach the grand finals, which they came up just short to Shano in. And Fort Atkinson ended up winning that match of 3 0 as they retained their entire lineup from spring 2022, while Wisconsin Lutheran was experimenting with some new players on their roster and dropped to 0 1. So we'll see if we see the same kind of scenario play out in this matchup here or will it be more competitive we shall see about two people have joined combined one from twitch one from youtube kind of started this stream a little bit early earlier than i put out on the on, uh, social media twitter instagram facebook snapchat all of that stuff But uh, yeah, we're going to get set here in about five minutes. All right, well, it looks like Lafayette is ready to go. So lobby information has been passed over. And we should be getting into the matchup shortly here. We're going to make sure the game audio is on. For those of you who are currently watching the stream, how is the game audio? Is the game audio good? I know the mic volume is a little bit loud. So I might have to turn that down. Well, hopefully we get some more people in here shortly. So we only have one viewer currently.
Well, about four minutes until match time. Just tuning in. This is the JV Week One a Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season, featuring Lafayette A versus Port Washington A. I am your fellow with City commentator Andrew Schuster. Pleased to be joining you all to commentate this match. For hopefully a good five game series. It could only go three games. Realistically. Here we go. Lafollette's players are in. Don Stray, Tony, and Gio are all in. Not sure why Gio joined the team. Alright. Got out of there before the match actually started. Still waiting on Port Washington to join. Still awaiting Port Washington's arrival into the lobby. Fun fact, this is my 33rd regular season game all time that I'll be casting for with Sia today. That is... Crazy to think about. You got the 15 regular season matches that I casted for the spring 2022 season. A handful of those casted with Kyle Bransky. And then you go to Smash Bros. All 16 regular season games. All 8 Varsity. All 8 JV. Alongside Henry. And then you got the one I casted last Tuesday for this Rocket League season currently. So that adds up to 32. Just the same number that's in my gamer tag. Fun fact. Should be a total of 33 already, but I remember the what was it the week six matchup between Random Lake and Deerfield, I believe, or Deerfield WCA, something like that. For uh, week six, Varsity was not able to stream that due to Windows updates, so that was a pain. And 
you know, just know going forward as the weeks progress and we get deeper into the varsity season, that there are going to be some matchups that are going to be picked that are going to be probably the best matches I've ever called in my career. And that's saying something. Because I have a lot in store for later on this season for Match of the Week streams. Not sure exactly how many JV games I'll be doing is next week I'll be playing for a Horlicks JVA Rocket League team against one of the, the peer teams. I think it's the peer A that we go against. Or the peer B, not entirely sure. So hopefully I can get both Henry and Kyle to run the stream next Thursday for JV, but I'll still be here for all the varsity streams. Right, not sure what's going on with Port Washington. All right, apparently they had a late player and they are now getting signed on. So a temporary delay there. I'd say the match should start probably around 350, 352-ish, something like that. Alright, got about three combined viewers. Not bad. So I reiterated uh, on last Tuesday's stream that JV games are a Doritos roulette bag, man. You never know what you're going to get. So we'll see what we have with LaFollette A versus Port Washington A. Right now we got five combined viewers. If you're just tuning in, this is the JV Week One Match of the Week stream for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season. I am your fellow with City Compensator Andrew Schuss Jr. Pleased to be taking you through today's matchup featuring Lafayette versus Port Washington A. And I believe we're gonna get things going right away here. Oh boy. Okay. Might be a little laggy at first. All right, game one commences now. 
Marty's gonna pop it up immediately, getting an import. Watch the territory. Geo almost scored immediately. Almost 10 seconds into the matchup here. Six was gonna try to do something there. Don straight with a nice clear there. Try to get a center position. Not gonna be able to. It's like CR7, CR27 racers not there. And six full gets the goal for Port Washington A. All right, looks like Port Washington with, went with a different lineup of players that I was expecting. Very, very interesting. They take a one goal lead early on in game one. Nice kickoff going in the favor of Lafayette A. Don Stray pops it up, going off the wall. Either him or Tony can get control of the ball. Maybe put a goal in. Ball goes past Geo. Bicycle flips. Tony goes up. Not going to be able to hit the ball. Let's see what Geo is able to do here. Six full. Flicks it over Geo. Can't get it in though. Nice save by Donstre. Nice bump there from Port Washington. Very viable strategy. The bully ball play. Coming off from Port Washington. Donstre can't hit it. And Astro can't put it in. A golden opportunity just couldn't take it. Oh, Crystal misses the ball. Tony's right there. Puts it in for Lafayette A. Nice little tap there from Tony the Killer onto the ball. Putting it in in open space. The game is tied at 1. 3.45 remaining. Geo goes up. To pass one. Can six full save this? And he does. Pops the ball up. Donstray there to read it. Geo's there to read it as well. That shot does not go in though. But Donstray puts it in on the second chance attempt. Nice play there from Geo and Donstray. Donstray just taking advantage of what's in front of him. Very wise decision there, putting his team up one, 329 remaining. None of poor Washington A's player like to go for that kickoff. Interesting decision there. Tony's going to center it. Six full is going to be there to clear it. If you do a little bit extra. He's not able to. Crystal gets to clear. Ball sails over Tony. Six full with the center. None of his teammates are up though. Ball still in Lafayette A territory here. Let's see what happens. Crystal is going to look for a possible center, but Donstre beats them to it. Crystal trying to take a redirect shot there, maybe. Nowhere even close to the net of Lafayette. Donstre going to get the clear. It has no boost, though. Him and Tony combine for a hit. He's going to put the ball in Port Washington A territory. Geo, center position. Tony the killer's there. Shot. Moffat A increases their lead to two. Get another nice pass from Geo there. Instead of Don Stray, this time it's Tony the killer. He has that killer instinct for sure. Puts it right in. Geo looking for another shot. That one gets saved immediately by Crystal. Geo looking to center it again. Gets it there. And Donstre there again. Geo is third assist of the game. Donstre with his second goal of the match. Beautiful goal there. Beautiful plays all around. I lost A in this game one. Kickoff in favor of Lafayette. Don Stray going to go off the wall here. Can he put it in? Yes, he can. Doesn't even need to touch it again. Hat trick for him. Amazing goals from Lafayette A as they take a commanding four goal lead in game one. Looking like Lafayette A is starting out pretty hot right now. There is 
calm, cool, and collected as Joe Burrow was against LSU or against Clemson national championship game of 2020 as for Washington A scores. Six full, a nice shot there. Cuts their deficit to three, 154 remaining. Crystal can read this here. She is able to. Don Stray putting that one in the corner. Six full. Nice demo on Don Stray. Geo's not able to hit the ball. I think the smoke from the demo may have gotten in his way. Altered his vision of the ball. Six full. Trying to do something there. Ran out of boost. I bet if he would have had boost, he would have got that shot in there. One way or another. Still drives past the ball. Six full. Puts up a shot. Gets saved by Don Stray. Good play there from Lafayette's defense. Ball center position. None of poor Washington Ace players are there. Six full again. Trying to go for another center. Don Stray is able to clear that one out. Crystal pops it up. And Tony the Killer takes advantage of that. Puts it in for Lafayette A. His third goal of the game. Pure and utter dominance we're seeing by Lafayette A in this game one. Retake their commanding four goal lead. Less than a minute remaining in game one. Six full. Trying to fit one in. Could not do it. Tony looking to drive the ball near Port Washington's net. Does so. Six full with a heads up play. Locking that top down. That one gets rejected by the side post of the net. Tony's going to center it. Geo's there. Can he put it in? No. Too slow to get to the ball there. That ball sails over Don Stray. Six full. The nice demo. Oh, the passing play was there. Six full cannot get the touch in order to get the goal. Tony getting its center position here. Six full, a nice clear. Dontre is there again, and that one is going to eventually hit the ground. And no, it's not. Six full. It's the last second goal to cut for Washington A's deficit to three. That one was for pride and momentum, potentially in game two, or into game two, I should say. All right, so Lafayette A takes game number one. Pretty hot start from Lafayette. We're seeing that six full had all the shots from Port Washington in that game one. Meanwhile, the ball is being distributed to all members of Lafayette. That is the key difference here that we're seeing out of these two teams. For Washington A, obviously needs to defend Lafayette A in any way they can in order to prevent goals, while also distributing the ball around some more. Instead of just putting all the pressure on six full. As we get set for game two. Yo, trying to put that one in for Washington territory. Goes the opposite direction here. Nice clear from Don Stray. Crystal gets that one over Don Stray. And Astro is going to put that one in immediately. So the same way game one started off with Port Washington scoring within the first 20 seconds of the match. Nice pass from Crystal. A nice goal from Astro. He is definitely balling for sure. Don Stray, a powerful punt off the kickoff. Going for a double tap. Oh, he's not going to be able to get it though. Double tap at JB would be crazy. We almost just saw it there. Six full. Putting it back towards this corner. Not sure how wise this decision is going to be, but some, some time here. Crystal going to hit it now. Six full. Continue it, but it has limited amount of boost. 
Tony gets it over six full. Astro's there though. Not straight there to stop. Potential goal from going in there. It's only the killer. Or Don Stray, excuse me, is going to take the wide open look. It's Tony the killer caught Port Washington A sleeping there. It's Don Stray and Tony the killer combined for that hit in order to get it into Port Washington A's net to tie up the game at one with 4.05 remaining. Ball still in Lafayette Ace territory. Now advancing towards Port Washington Ace territory. Astro gets a nice clear there. Don Stray wins to 50. Ball still in Lafayette Ace territory though. Popped up in the area. Six fulls hits the ball. And that one almost goes in, but Tony with a nice save there. Astro gonna make the clear. Six full gonna hit it. Oh, that one is just out of reach of the net. Unfortunate there for Washington A's. They had the play set up perfectly. Just a bit too wide of the net. Six full Trying to get it over Geo is not able to. Crystal. Nice driving charge. Six full there. Can't put it in. Awful A's defense. It's just too locked down right now. Clicking on all cylinders for sure is Donstre. Tries to go for a shot. Six full is going to center this one. Tony's not going to be able to hit it. Oh, and Astro can't get up for it. We're seeing that. We're watching A's players do not have enough boost to maybe set up a passing play. Oh, that was going to be a nice shot from Geo. Get saved there. Oh, another nice save for six full. the ultimate denier for Port Washington A. And their defense is strengthening as this game goes on. Crystal accidentally pops the ball up in the air. Don Stray going to take advantage of that. Six full is going to tell him, no, you can't take advantage of that. Flicks it over Geo. Six full gets it over Tony. Don Stray, the only man back. But now Tony rotates back. And now rotates towards Port Washington A's half. Oh, Don Stray, an amazing shot there. Wow. I thought that was going to be a pass, but he just got it in. On the angle to get it on the side of the net. Put it there. Well done by Don Stray. Lafayette A's lead increases to one. Less than two minutes remaining in game two. And so far, this game two has been uh, very much competitive. Way more competitive than game one for sure. Six full. Going to try to clear this one out. Don Stray there to read the ball immediately. That one almost went in. Washington A has to get the rotations down here. They're looking like a scrambled mess on defense here. Don Stray gets it in for Washington A territory. Shots up. Crystal steps up for the save. Geo with the center. Don Stray hits it. Geo looking to do something. Tony the Killer actually goes in Geo's way here. Looks like Lafayette A is trying to do everything in their power to get a goal here. Ball's going to waterfall down. Six full with a nice save and a clear. Geo puts it right back in Lafayette A territory. Controlling the clock, chewing the clock like they're playing Madden right now as Lafayette A. See what they're able to do here. Crystal with a nice look here. Oh, and that one's going to be just wide of the net. Six full puts it in for Port Washington today, and the game's tied back up. This time at two. 41 seconds remaining here. Nice goal from six full to tie this game up at two. Kickoff going in favor of Port Washington A here. Six full is able to beat Tony to the ball. Don Stray. It's ball as it falls right into his lap. Oh, the drive, but Crystal makes the save. Crystal and Six full combined 
to ensure that the ball was saved. Astro puts it in off a territory. Astro up in the air. Washington A has two options here. They can play defense or they can be aggressive and possibly go for a goal here. And they may have to play defense here. And the ball goes and hits the ground. And we're in overtime for game two. Kickoff going in the favor of poor Washington A. Six full getting a second touch on the ball. Geo gets it past Astro and six full. Luckily, Crystal is there for the clear. Wisely rolling it back to Crystal. With six full. Six full gets the center. None of his teammates are there. Oh, almost fit that one in. It's not able to. Six full, though, has another opportunity. Can't really get control of the ball. Dontre with the savior of the game. Overtime plays on here. Dontre gets it past one. Got it past Crystal. Tony was not in position to get that goal. It looked like Dontre was going for a pass or set up a pass, I should say. Six full sets up a pass way too high. That one bounces out of La Follette territory into Port Washington A territory. Crystal gonna hit it up. Six full gonna try to clear this out, but Don straight there. Oh, a nice 50 from six full! And that's not gonna go in as that was wide to the right of the net. Crystal. Threatening knocking on the door of La Follette A. Will they burst it open? We'll see. Don straight. Nice job getting it into Port Washington A territory. Can't follow up though. Pinches it down. Six full reads that. Geo is going to get back to the clear here. Geo is up. Trying to get a possible center going here. And he does so. Oh, that one almost went in. Oh my goodness. You can't get you can't get any closer than that. Don Stray looking for a center of his own. Oh, he gets it, but none of his teammates are there. Let's see what Six Full is able to do here. This overtime about to go up to two minutes in length. Six Full trying to put up a shot. All three members of La Follette combined for the save there. Oh, Astro flips over the ball. Let's see if Crystal's able to get control of it. Oh, and Tony's going to take it, but Six Full gets back in position to make the save. Unreal. What is this overtime right now? Oh, and Gio gets the shot in. Wow. What an overtime. And La Follette A takes a 2-0 series lead. Wow. Astro just went up a little too high for the ball there. A little bit out of position. But that was a very, very good game by both teams. My assumption about JV was correct. They are a Doritos really bag. You never know what you're going to get. I didn't expect to see a two-minute overtime in the second game of the series. We are going to get set for game three. So if Laughlin A is to take game number three, they will win the series three to zero and the stream will be concluded. But don't count on Port Washington A just yet. As they have a little bit of momentum on their side, they just have to limit their mistakes. As they were very close to winning game two as we get set for game three. Crystal going to take that one, and that one is in immediately again. Third time is the charm for Washington A, scoring a goal in at least the first 20 seconds of all three matches. This one within nine seconds of the game's start. Got to just build upon this lead here. Create the foundation. Lock it up on defense. Limit your mistakes. They have to get the rotations down on defense if Fort Washington wants to win today's matchup. Dodge straight center. Geo there. That one is way too high. 
Astro misses the ball again. Tony nearly gets that one in right off the crossbar to Gio or Dantre there to read it. And that one's not going to go in yet, but Gio is there. Put in the shot for Lafayette. That ball was bouncing for a good two seconds. Astro hit it up, but then Gio driving it right in there. Not straight going up here. Geo already up as well. A little bit of miscommunication there from the side of Lafayette. Not sure exactly what to do here. Six full. Looking for a flip reset. He gets it, but does not have enough boost to get the finish. Geo trying to drive that one in yet again. Not able to. Six full trying to get it past Don Stray, and that's a very tall task to do. Very big ask. As Don Stray is going wild here. Oh my goodness, that in. Yes, it is. Tony the killer. Amazing shot there. Pass from Donstre. Not sure exactly what happened here. Oh, Geo got a demo on one of Fort Washington Ace players. Great play there. Jumping up to a one goal lead, 333 remaining in game three. Lafayette, he can hold up the score result. They will walk out of here 3 to 0. The match series. Oh my goodness, Geo with an amazing goal there. Nice 50 ball. One that bounces off the wall. Amazing stuff there. Talk about threading the needle in Rocket League. That's one example of it. Six fools able to do here. Trying to drive it. Center position. And again, six full zero boost. Not what A is able to clear it off their half. No, they're not able to. Six full trying to put more pressure on. Astro coming up. Not able to hit the ball. Runs into six full. Oh, and Dostray gets it past Crystal. Oh my goodness. What a play. And as elusive as Barry Sanders out there with that play. Unbelievable. Absolutely filthy juke there from Dostre. Puts Lafayette up to a three goal lead with 251 remaining in game three. He was able to get that one. Tony immediately just driving it in. Lafayette takes a commanding four-goal lead. Power of the Fennec and the Draco wheels gets Tony the killer that goal. Kickoff going in favor of Lafayette. Ball popped up in the air. Full, trying to get it out. And guess who's there? Donstre immediately to shut down all of poor Washington A's plans. Oh, six full put up a shot. That was almost in. Crystal. In center position, but Donstre, the main defensive man for Lafayette. He's going to get this goal too, probably. And he will! My goodness, Donstre running all over the place. Looking like the Saints is Taysom Hill out there doing it all. The gadget man for Lafayette. Pop up, popped up in the air. Lafayette going to drive that one into Washington territory. Look back on Lafayette's side. Six full going up. 
It's in center position. Astro's there. Gets saved immediately by Geo, though. Crystal with a nice drive. Six full looking to follow up here. Dostre misses. Ball popped up in the air. Astro's there. Centers it. Tony with a nice clear. He can do with the ball. Trying to do Crystal there is not successful in that attempt. Six full putting it in. Lofflight A territory. A flip reset comes out. But to no avail. Dodge straight pops it up. Center. Six full able to clear it. About 35 seconds remaining in game three. Six full trying to put this one in. No, he's not able to. Demo there by Astro on to Geo. Six full pops. I want to, Can he get one in for Pride? No. Off Lady is just not allowing another goal here. Can they get a possible Brazil here in this in these last 10 seconds? We shall see if Lafayette makes that a reality. Could happen. Oh, it might actually happen. Wow. There it is. A Brazil from Lafayette. That is indeed a Brazil for Lafayette A to finish it off as they win the series 3-0 and advance to 1-0 on the season while Port Washington A drops 0-1 on the season. But your Port Washington A don't fret at this result as they made it competitive for the most part. Still got some things to work on for sure. As again, they're much like Wisconsin Lutheran in varsity, trying to experiment with new players as their old players have left. All right, so update the overlay here. 3-0 to zero win for Lafayette. And they advance to 1-0. While Port Washington A drops to 0-1. Alright, well now that the series has concluded, the stream will now be concluding. Thank you all for tuning in to this JB Week 1 matchup featuring Lafayette versus Port Washington today for the Winter 2023 Rocket League season. Tune in this Tuesday for Varsity Week 2 and next Thursday for JV Week 2. Announcements on which games will be picked are going to be coming out within the next few days. You'll see the announcements pop up on my Twitter page as well as Wisconsin High School Esports Association's Twitter page, also their Instagram, possibly their Facebook as well. So we will keep you guys informed on what matchups will be picked next week. But for now, I have been your fellow C commentator, Andrew Jr., signing out. Have a good night.